president and owner of the Jack LaLanne Company of Los Angeles, California, Jack LaLanne. <laughs> Amazingly enough, Jack LaLanne suffered from poor health as a child. He wore shoulder braces and arch supports and what else, I haven't been informed. But today, his name is synonymous with health and vitality. Years ahead of his time, he became the great name in the field of physical fitness. Today, the nation can find fitness in his 60 health spas and at home through his television programs and through his books. Earlier this month, Jack proved again that he is still the leading pioneer in physical fitness by breaking his own record to celebrate his 65th birthday. He towed 65 boats loaded with 6,500 pounds of wood pulp for one mile through icy waters while he was handcuffed and shackled. <laughs> no man is more deserving of the Horatio Alger Award than Jack Lee Lane, who teaches us a wonderful fact of what we can make of our physical bodies, which I will remind you are temples of the soul. It gives me, it gives me great pleasure, Jack LaLanne, to hand to you what you've already earned, the Horatio Alger Award. And God bless you. Good evening to all my friends at the head table. And to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, a healthy good evening. I can't tell you how thrilled and honored I am to be here this evening. It's like a dream that I could just, like it just could not happen. And I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy television schedule for being here this evening. <laughs> Did you enjoy that organic low-calorie meal? Hey, you know they say behind every man there's a woman. You know, but oftentimes that woman behind that man is not in the greatest shape she should be in. You know, the sands of time have shifted. But I'm very fortunate that my wife, who has been such a great supporter of mine and an example of my teaching, is here. Elaine, will you please stand up? <laughs> you know, I can't even afford to have an overweight dog to wreck my image. <laughs> You know, I have had the privilege and honor of lecturing all over the world to great fantastic groups. But I want to go on record tonight as stating that right in this room here in Miami, Florida, is the greatest, the finest, the most fantastic group of prospects I've ever seen. <laughs> You know, I'm kidding on the square. I'm really excited. I'm so excited. I, I, you know, it's just incredible. You know, 50 years ago, I was in an audience in Oakland, California with 3,000 people. I attended a health lecture. I had dropped out of school for six months due to ill health. I was a weak, sick, miserable child, a sugarholic, couldn't participate in sports, uncontrollable temper, failing grades in school. I was thinking of suicide. The gentleman that was lecturing that evening told that audience, the theme of the audience, I mean, the theme of the be 150 and I'm gonna make it. Stick around and find out. He said, my dear friends, I don't care what your age is, I don't care what your present physical condition is, if you obey nature's laws, if you eat properly and exercise, you can be born again. That was a seed that was planted in Jacqueline. From that night to this day, 
I knew exactly what I wanted to do in life. I wanted to help other people. I followed this man's principles. I went on a vegetarian diet for uh, many years. And in a short time, I was born again. And that's why I am so enthusiastic about my profession, because my life was saved, and I have seen my profession save hundreds of thousands of lives. And it's becoming a valid philosophy of living now. It's going to save this nation. It's going to save the world. Because without your health, what do you have? Nothing. And if you don't exercise daily, and if you don't eat properly, it's impossible to be healthy. You cannot. And each and every one of you in this room this evening, all you, my wonderful friends and Amer fellow Americans, you can all be Horatio Alger Award winners. Every one of you can take yourselves up by your bootstraps and take yourself into something a thousand times better than you are this evening, mentally, morally, spiritually, financially, every way. You can do it. And that was 50 years ago when I attended that health lecture, and I promise, as God is my judge, that you, regardless of your age or your present physical condition, if you obey nature's laws, you, too, can be born again. I promise it. And you know, my mother, my great mother who went along with this philosophy of living, lived to be 94. My dad, he was a skeptic. He didn't believe in exercise. He didn't believe in nutrition. He thought I was a damn fool for doing it, you know. My dad died at a very early age, just like Carl's dad. But my mother, a very progressive gal, went along with it. And my mother, she was really proud of me. And she used to say, Jack, whenever you're in your television show, you reach millions of people every day, whenever you lecture all over the United States, you be sure and you tell those wonderful people in your audience that there's absolutely nothing that isn't possible in life. Anything is possible. My mother believed this even till her last days. And she says, Jack, you tell all those wonderful people that remember this, anything is possible, that God helps them that help themselves. And I just hope and pray in my heart that each and every one of you that are watching me and listening to me this evening will do something to better yourself so you can really learn what it is to have brotherly love in your heart, to really be happy, and to help this country to really regain its position as a number one nation in the world. Please make it happen. Thank you.